Okay guys, uh, I think I found the issue. The issue is that the requirements file is not inside app. So I have to, you know, move the requirements file inside so that it's um, here. So that's the reason it was showing all this. So anyway, so let's run this command again. Okay, it's getting installed. Okay, it's installed. So let's see it. Docker images. Okay, so let's say Docker run minus B uh, and uh, let's say minus P five thousand five thousand. Um, or da, 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 uh, 5000, 5000, what else? I think that would be it, right? So, 5000, 5000, yeah, and uh, the build image ID. Oops, sorry copy and paste let's say docker ps minus a okay it started so let's open the server and send this okay this is working fine let's try something else uh, let's say come here and maybe send this value Okay, I mean, let's say if I change this to, I don't know, maybe 19, something like that. Okay, it's working. So let's bring this server down, docker es minus a. Okay, docker stop this container, please. Oops, what the hell did it copy? <laughs> copy paste hmm i just installed the new docker so let's see if it responds okay it worked so let's say docker is my say okay docker system prune let me just see yeah. Okay, so this is working. So that's about it guys. This is part two where we have created a server, linked it and created an image. So thank you. So let's go to uh, creation of the UI for this. Thank you.